online early on a Saturday morning because The Witcher came out to Monster Hunter. I'm going to love The Witcher. I'm going to love Monster Hunter. I'm going to be rusty, but let's try this out. Though I'm not really sure what to make of it just yet. Just to be safe, we shouldn't get too close. But judging from the look of it, none of its features seem to resemble anything close to what we know as a living creature. Are you saying that this creature could have come from another world? Seems like a lot of that going around lately. I believe we might find the answer to that in the ancient forest, where it was first spotted. There are too many unknown factors that exceed our knowledge. We need to conduct this investigation with extreme caution. It seems it might take a while to get to the bottom of this. If only there were someone who knew exactly what this was. Hmm. Fleet's research base, to be more specific. And you are. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Was tracking a monster through the forest when... This is cool. I was transported here of a sudden. Must have been magic of some kind that brought me to this world. <laughs> Great. Magic? In our world? This is like something out of a fairy tale. What you're saying is hard to believe, but after what we've just witnessed, I don't think we have a choice. A Necker? Well, well, quite familiar with those. How'd that one even get here? It came from the ancient forest. If we head there, maybe we can find clues to why you and the Necker came to our world. However, I fear monsters from another world might be beyond what the research commission is capable of handling. Tell you what, happen to be a monster slayer of sorts myself, so... Venture to say I could take care of your problem in the woods. At a price, of course. Deal. We're counting on you. Cool. Let's go over what we know. First, this creature is called a Necker, and it is not from our world. Second, the Necker was somehow transported from its world to the ancient forest. And third, what caused this Necker and our Witcher friend here to come to our world remains unknown. Beast probably dropped through a portal like I did, a different one. Wound up in this ancient forest of yours. Worth looking into, I'd say. Anything else I should know? Doesn't matter how trivial you think it might be. And now that you mention it, there have been reports of an unusually large number of revultures recently. They're scavenger birds with black feathers. Scavenger birds? Sounds fun. The Commission will provide support in whatever way we can. I've already sent researchers ahead to investigate the matter. If you cross paths in the forest, don't hesitate to ask for their help. Thanks. Normally, I'd have you handle assignments like this. But given what we know of the situation, I'm leaving this one in the Witcher's hands. Which doesn't mean we can just sit around. It's our job to make sure the Witcher has everything he needs to get to the bottom of this. Yes, sir. Let me handle this one, Hunter. Promise I'll tend to it right away.
Oh. I'm gonna be so rusty. It's gonna be sad because I love girl. Oh god, even like, oh my god, so cool! <laughs> Again, real quick. So cool for doing this. Uh. Good to see you. Be careful. I should use Geralt's sword though. I don't really use the sword and shield, though, that's the issue. Yeah. Geralt using a goddamn switch ask. Alright. Ancient forest, huh? Easy place to get lost, looks like. Should follow the map. Try to find the commission members. Current location, points of interest. I can use this to figure out my way around. This might be a little short stream though, but remember. I'll find know it. something. That monster mangled pretty bad from what I can see. You got that right. Huh? Wait a sec. Aren't you? Geralt, I'm a witcher. See a lot of dead bodies in my line of work. Right. The witcher guy. The commander said you'd be around. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. Actually, need to learn about the recent strange happenings in the forest. Got a feeling that carcass could be linked. You might be right. I've never seen monsters leave their prey looking like this. Like to check the body if you don't mind. Let's have a look. Oh, this is just like the game Monster Hunter, my god! Ah, so cool! Herbivore, gotta be, judging by the shape of its head. That's right! It's called an Aptonoth. 
Very docile. They usually travel in herds. All of them this big? Quite the feast for a predator. Yeah, they're actually a favorite among the larger monsters, and, um, well, us too. You could say they are quite tasty. Uh, but, yeah. It's not uncommon to see an Abdenoth carcass lying around here and there. Hmm. Body is riddled with puncture wounds. Yeah, by something small and pointy. <sighs> Bird's beaks, lots of them. Looks like a whole flock attacked it. Broken bones, swollen muscles. It was running away from something, collapsed here. Abdenoth will only run if they feel threatened. The whole herd will run to a safer location. No other Abdenoth around. Whatever attacked this one waited until it had separated from the herd. Clever. So, seems a flock of birds attacked it after it was separated from the herd. Ran for its life while being pecked at, dropped dead here. It's so strange. I've never seen these birds prey on living monsters. It's just unheard of. Gonna search the area, see if I can find more clues. Okay, I'll be around here if you need anything. Should search around the body. Might find the tracks of whatever did this. Feathers, black. From the birds that attacked the Aptonoth, gotta be. Just need to follow these. Should find where it was first attacked. Never seen anything like this before. Wonder what kind of potion you could make with it. seems to be attacking as one. No use trying to pick them off one by one. Oh! Could incinerate them all with Igni, though. Don't see any other way. Birds are the culprits. Revultures. They're scavenger birds that enjoy large monsters' leftovers. They're usually harmless. I can't believe they would attack a living Aptonoth. Those birds attacked me, too. Any idea why they suddenly turned aggressive? To be honest, I'm just as clueless as you. Unless there was some kind of external factor? Something significant enough to cause a sudden change in the ecosystem. Something that nudged them to the brink of starvation, for instance? Exactly. It didn't seem like that was the case, though. Did you see how they were flying? Completely in unison. It was like one big flock monster. I've been out here in the forest researching endemic life longer than I'd like to admit, but I've never seen them do that. It was as if something was manipulating them. Notice anything else in the forest recently? Hmm. Anything out of the ordinary? Come to think of it, I think I spotted a new form of endemic life. It was just once, at night. It ran away when it saw me, though. Necker could be. Small humanoid creature. Ugly smirk on its face.
got lucky. Would have attacked you in the blink of an eye if it thought for a moment it was stronger than you. Now that you mention it, it had something on its face, around its mouth, like it had just eaten something. This forest is teeming with life. There's an intricate food chain here that is constantly revolving. I wonder if that Necker lost its need to attack anything because it was able to find plenty to eat without doing so. Pretty bold hypothesis. Though it would explain why this one wasn't aggressive. They usually are. I haven't seen it in a while, though. I wonder where it scurried off to. Might have sensed my presence. Danger. Run off somewhere. Once I'm gone, it could come crawling back. Mm. There we go. If it does, I'll send for our best hunter to capture it. Mind my asking why you chose this line of work? I've always loved critters ever since I was little. Oh, critters! That and it's easy peasy. I'll spare you the details, but long story short, one day I went out looking for frogs, lizards, and snails, and the next thing I knew, I was out here. Just like magic, don't you think? I owe it all to my partners in research for always being so patient with me. See where you're coming from. Got folk like that in my world, in my life, too. They're too good to me. My life wouldn't be what it is today without them. No. Take care now. He's a softie at heart. Clear as day. This is the work of something that wields magic. Powerful magic. Need to figure out what it is. Should try to find another commission member. I'm gonna struggle a bit if I get in a fight. I... I haven't played this in like almost maybe a year. Also, I never really ever did use the um sword. The sword and shield. However, I do need to get back because the big expansion. What do we have here? Hmm, a journal. Notes run margin to margin. Must belong to one of the commission members. Need to look around, look for clues. Long stride, deep prints. Took off in a panic. Footprints lead deeper into the woods. Wonder what spooked him. for trapping but it saves a lot of trouble a tool that shoots projectiles pretty useful not exactly a tool of the witcher trade but looks like it could be useful tracks all over the place hmm something pounce on them they get attacked need to look around some more another journal same researchers, judging by the handwriting. Mm -hmm. Researcher must have been chased into this cave. Kyle Lichen or whatever. Medallions humming up a storm. Magic in the air. Gotta be. Roots, all extending in one direction. 
reaching out for something, looks like. Need to follow these routes. More tracks. Irregular distance between them. Got away somehow, but must have been exhausted. This is cool. The fact that, like... Oh my god. It's so cool they're able to, like, merge these two worlds. Have a nice little collab. Beasts are of this world. Unlucky ones at that. Oh, damn! No signs of predation. Roots choke them to death, it seems. Hopefully whoever left these footprints was luckier. The Puka Puka. Oh my! A fiver! You sensed I was in trouble and came to rescue me, did you? These roots came out of nowhere and trapped me here. Hmm? Wait, you're not from the Fifth, are you? Name's Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Was sent here to look into certain events happened recently in these woods. Ah, oh, yes. The commander spoke of you. You look quite spunky. That's one word to describe him. Well, welcome to the new world. I would shake your hand, but, well, you know. I am a member of the Research Commission, a master of the botanical arts, so to speak. Need a hand? Please! There are hunters who are in need of my services. This is no time for me to be tied up in roots. All right, but what's in it for me? Ah, I had a feeling you would say that. Alas, I don't exactly carry a pouch full of zenny on me at all times. However much you require, I'm sure the commander will gladly compensate you. Would that suffice? Gotta say, you're awfully lively for someone who's trapped in tree roots. We'll talk compensation later. <laughs> Need a hand? Please! There are hundreds, oh, damn it. right? Ah, however much... Gotta say, you're awfully lively. Roots seem to like you. A lot. Ugh, I assure you the feeling is not mutual. There I was, minding my business whilst conducting my investigation, when suddenly these roots just leaped out towards me. There was no time to think, so I ran away as fast as my legs could carry me. But these roots are persistent devils. I was able to outmaneuver them for a while, but eventually they cornered me here and, well, I was just in the middle of trying to persuade my captors to release me when you showed up. Mean to say you tried to talk the roots around to your point of view? Bit carefree under the circumstances, wouldn't you say? The Commission has quite a capable hunter, you see. This Sapphire Star is the first to arrive at the scene. And exhibits incredible power that never fails to save the day. Our Sapphire Star has saved so many of us in the Commission. I was sure I would be rescued in no time. But perhaps I rely on our hunter too much. Hmm. Think you might have learned your lesson? Lesson? Why, the lesson has yet to begin. There is much research to be done on this phenomenon. Guess not. <laughs> Don't exactly look like normal tree roots, these. Definitely something strange about them. And, uh, freeing you might cause you some discomfort. Sorry. I leave the method to you. Just get me out of here. Not the safest way, but Igni would take care of those roots right quick. I'm no wizard. I'm a witcher. Monster slayer. Ah, yes. Forgive me, Master Witcher. Now, what brings you to this part of the forest? Looking for information. Saw roots like these on my way here. 
They common in your world? <laughs> Absolutely not. I've never seen them before, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I actually did. It is true that plants are able to grow rapidly depending on the stage in their life cycle, but they never grow that fast. In our world, people, monsters, plants, they all operate on the same flow of time and energy. Of course, there are natural phenomena, and at times, things can and do grow at abnormal rates. But those roots are something more. I can't think of any logical way to explain it. The only possibility I can think of is that it might be akin to something like that magic of yours. Huh. Saw roots like these on my way here. They common in your world? Absolutely not. I've never seen them before, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I actually did. It is true that plants are able to grow rapidly depending on the stage in their life cycle, but they never grow that fast. In our world, people, monsters, plants, they all operate on the same flow of time and energy. Of course, there are natural phenomena, and at times, things can and do grow at abnormal rates. But those roots are something more. I can't think of any logical way to explain it. The only possibility I can think of is that it might be akin to something like that magic of yours. The roots. Why'd they attack you? Any idea? I haven't the faintest. I was recording in my notebook at the time. Notice anything else during the attack? In all honesty, once the roots took hold, I thought I would end up as some monster's dinner. But luckily, that didn't happen. <laughs> you saw them too, yes? Those poor Puke Puke choked to death by the roots? Seems they were untouched by any predators. Guess the roots attack anything that wanders within range. Damn territorial, this thing we're dealing with, whatever it is. Plants can be territorial, but never with such awareness. This is no plants doing. It must be something else. So, it's not that... You see, how flea... The plants are different. I can always count on them to be there, no matter how many years pass. In other words, I chose to lead a life with plants so I wouldn't have to bear the pain of seeing my human companions come and go. Call me Craven, if you will. But that was the path I chose to walk. And if that makes me a coward, so be it. Fear of loss. Wouldn't call it cowardly. It's something we all feel. What's amusing is, thanks to my research on plants, I ended up interacting with humans on a daily basis. Plants have brought back to me what I had once thrown away, and I am forever grateful for it. I just want to hear him say this. These, uh, Puke Puke. <laughs> yeah! What kind of beasts are we talking about? They are large bird wyverns, known for their vividly colorful feathers and scales. They have large, bulgy eyes and surprisingly long tongues, but if you look closely, their features are actually quite charming. You should see one for yourself. Mm -hmm. Keep my eyes peeled.
Sorry, oh, god dang it. It is true. In our world, of course, there are those. The only possibility I can think of is that a time I was on my way. Can't always explain. All right, you are. Best of luck. Mm -hmm. Just try to keep quiet, all right? A hair and fox combined. No doubt about it. This is a lesson's doing. Bet it also transported both me and that necker to this world. Seems stronger than a normal lesson, though. Abundant life in this forest could be a factor. All right. Need to find its totem. Should be deep in the woods near the center. Map ought to be helpful. Poor. Oh, that actually makes me sad. In pretty bad shape, but still breathing. I'm being totally honest in my opinion assessment here. I think that the Monster Hunter World, though, team, I think is one of the best teams right now in gaming. Medallions humming. Totem must be somewhere around here. Hmm. Leshen's totem. Should be able to lure the Leshen out by destroying it. Huh? Oh no, Jagras is... Where's the Chad Great One? Oh, so these are gonna take place inside of the wolves! Sword shield before, so this is like okay. Don't judge me for my poor skills right now. Huh? Tastes odd.
There. Silent now. Seems they were controlled by magic. Leshen could hold sway over other beasts I run into. Need to be careful. Now, show yourself. God, this is so cool. Forgot, like, lessons are kind of hot here on a little. Alright, that's cool. sword here, but I'm gonna have to definitely use my, uh, my long sword. in a while, um, I don't think a lesson would be a good, good point.
a break. That all you got? Oh, that's not poison. Doi. God, I'm an idiot. This works so well. I love you, Sword and Shield. Yeah, however, <laughs> oh, yeah. This is awesome. This is so fucking cool. More monsters. Power to summon some center of certain body parts. Oh, this feels right! Hashirama. Come on, come closer. All right.
struggling right now. I need to freaking get good. Especially since the expansion's coming out soon. Also, I need to get enough to get my Geralt costume. Itachi, fuck off. this up until I get into red territory.
Go, I'm feeling it again, Mr. Krabs. Okay, well. Chunk of damage. That all you got. Still, it should be okay. Okay, I know. No time for that. Come on, come closer.
I kill ah Come on Asshole Die, please! That. Oh my god, I am so bad right now. No way that sweep would have gotten me. That all you got. Yeah. Sure, 
Sure, okay. Devil Joe on my first row. I can do this. Like, okay, the range is so inconsistent, and I can't get close up to him. I'm so bad at Monster Hunter now. And why is my stamina so low? out. Come on. Boom. 
All right. You can use goddamn. Uh, ten minutes left. That all you got. I might never complete something within the time limit period. drew a lot of nutrients out of these woods. These materials are strong. Should deliver them to the commission. Could be useful in their research. I got a little angry there. Deepest thanks. We couldn't have solved that problem on our own. It's been an honor, Geralt of Rivia. Thank you for coming to the New World. How will you get back to your world? Leshen's portals, I think. Pretty sure I'll find one still open. Huh. Where's that hunter? While I tended to the Leshen, he cleared the forest of a lot of filth. He's our brightest star, so he's rarely in one place for too long. As soon as that Leshen was taken care of, he was already off on another assignment. He sends his regards. Now then, here's your reward. Hmm. Hefty as that coin is. It can't possibly have any value in my world. Give it to the hunter. I couldn't have killed the Leshen without his help anyway. And this, also for your hunter. What is it? A runestone. Your hunters don't wield any magic of their own. But in our world, magic exists in some objects as a matter of course. If a Leshen ever appears again, tell your hunter to use it to summon flames. All right. Godspeed to you. Take care. My boy! much it takes to look like girl Cool. We 
can hunt mushrooms. Oh, stay tough. I can look like Skull Knight. Um, Cool. Alright, well I think that's going to end it here today. That was a lot, and that was hard, and I want to cry. Bye. <laughs>